Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another exciting episode of MCW's Rage TV. I am Mark Bray. We are coming to you once again from the great city of Baltimore, Maryland. Tonight on this very program, you will see the best action that MCW has to offer. But first, there's been a, quite a few newcomers in the locker room as of late. And just recently before the show, there was a lovely young lady that wanted to come out and discuss a few things with you. And she... She kind of had a couple of big guys with her, so we're going to find out what that's all about. So, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the MCW Rage TV Arena, the beautiful Tara. Sarah, if I could have a few moments of your time over here at the interview area. Come to it. Oh, okay. This is kind of irregular. Um, well, okay. I guess I can do that. Tara, I know you're new and from the great state of Nevada in Vegas area. We kind of do things a little bit different here. I, I guess, all right, fine, we'll hand it over to you. Well, First of all, it's boss Tara to you and to everyone else here. And I'm not just from Nevada, I'm from Las Vegas. And I'm here for one reason and one reason only. Yeah, I expected these people would say something like that. But I am here for one reason and one reason only, and that is to make money. And let me tell you, I am going to make money here off these people like you've never seen. Because that's all it's about. But you know what? Just in case some of these people disappoint me, I've got a backup plan. They're the bookies, and I'd like you to meet them. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the newcomers to MCW, the bookies, with boss Tara. Well, folks, you got Boss Tara, you got the bookies here in MCW to make money. We'll be right back. That's right. Welcome back to another episode of Rage TV, folks. Mark, we done took up half the daggone time we got for TV. So let me bring him in. Country Strong's coming out here, and I'll tell you what they... Well, wait a second. All right, go ahead. Do your job, Mark. As I was saying, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Rage TV. I am Mark Bray alongside me, former WWE Light Heavyweight Champion, Dwayne Gilbert. Like I had any control over that last second. Well, you know... I guess they do things a little bit differently out west. Anyway, I digress. This opening bout tonight, you got Country Strong, Jose Good, and Kevin Chesky taking on Pale Paul White and Nick Rage with Mr. 300 in a tag team bout. I tell you what, this guy, uh, Pale Paul White, he's uh, he's pretty good. Well, I got to tell you, we've got a bunch of youngsters on our roster now that have been coming up through the ranks, and 
for the majority, they've been all doing very well to start making them, themselves. There he is, the right business. there. Look at that. Boot to the belly, right to the head. Whips him in. Bam. Ducks under, but uh oh, watch out, Paul. Uh oh. Well, country strong. I'll well, tell you what. For a pen. He covers him up. I love these guys. They are the best guys. Have you talked to them yet, Mark? That, well, I mean, I've tried to communicate with them, but it's kind of hard to understand Haas Haggard. <laughs> For some reason, I think he's asking about my mother. I'm not sure how he knows her, but anyway, that's an entirely different story altogether. Haas Hager, now the legal man in this matchup. Pale Paul White yeah. on the floor. That's kind of hello is what he's saying to you when he says, how you mumming him? Well, I guess I'll he just He's just trying to say on. hello to you. That's a country way of doing it. Oh, oh, you messed up there. Oh, what a forearm. And I suppose that's a country goodbye. Yes, it that's is. Haas Hager it now. Working on Pale Paul White, his partner, Mr. 300, Nick Ray, just outside on the ring apron floor. Going to be no help. Looks uh, like Pale Paul White is on his own on this one. I tell you what, this is a big, strong country boy here as he does a huge backdrop to Pale Paul White. And Kevin Chesney seems to be very thrilled with his partner uh -oh. right now as he uh -oh. sets him up. Here it comes. Look out. Setting him up for the tackle, Ray Lewis style. And Boom! Flying shoulder block, and now that's got to be it if he can capitalize, cover him up. Uh oh. Nah, uh oh. It's time to take the ride, the flip around flapjack ride. Here it comes. Folks, we've seen this before. Lift him in and lift him up, baby. Whoop. Oh, bam! And that's it, baby. There's nothing left but one, two, three. And Country Strong wins once again. You cannot help but to love these guys. There you have it, victorious in the opening bout here on Rage TV. Country strong. Here you One, go two, again. three, Earnhardt. <laughs> you are just something else. Well, wait a second here. Hold on. There they are. Hold on a second. I don't know if you saw the entrance way, but Boss Tara. Uh oh. The newcomer. I know Tara from before. Is walking out here. There he is. <laughs> and the winners of this match, Country Strong. There she is. Notice they didn't pay no attention to her. None. Because they don't know her. Very disappointing. Very, very powerful woman right there. What is going on here? She says she's very disappointed. Oh, what's this? Folks, pandemonium breaks out. There they are. There they are, the rookies. You know, I, I, there's not a lot of times that I speak out in this business, and I just hate when we lose uh -oh. control. Bang! There's oh. no reason for this. There's absolutely no reason for this. These guys. Oh, these rookies look like some vicious, vicious people, Mark. I'll tell you that. That bump right there is one reason why I am not in the ring today. Unbelievable. Boss Tara saying finish them. Nick Rages in trouble here. Mr. 300's got to feel about Mr. 225 right about now. As one of the bookies up top. Oh no, out! Well, no one will argue that the bookies and Boss Tara mean business here on Rage TV. I'm sorry, I'm speechless. I can't say nothing. These guys are killing Mr. 300. Unbelievable, no words. Can't understand them though. You wanna teach them English? Saturday night, October 29th, in the Green Room in Dundalk, Maryland at 6.45 p.m. MCW is proud to present Tribute to the Legends, a Hall of Fame night. MCW will be inducting six legends into the 2011 Class Hall of Fame. Two decades of tag team excellence is recognized as the Holy Rollers enter the Hall of Fame. Maryland icon and longtime fan favorite Hard Rock Ricky Blues has earned his place into the 2011 Hall of Fame class. Always controversial, yet always extremely successful. Tom Brandy has made his mark on the Maryland wrestling scene over the past 25 years. Tom will rightfully be recognized in the 2011 Hall of Fame class. Bill Apter is easily one of the most influential figures in pro wrestling history. As former senior editor of Pro Wrestling Illustrated, Inside Wrestling, and The Wrestler, Bill's media coverage made hundreds of wrestlers into household names. We are very pleased to have Bill enter our 2011 Hall of Fame class. Dan McDevitt embodies the heartbeat of Maryland wrestling. 
Dan has wrestled, managed, booked, and for the past 20 years has run by far the most successful and reputable regional pro wrestling organization in the country. Many of today's top stars learn their craft under the watchful tutelage of Dan McDevitt in MCW. Dan's induction into the 2011 Hall of Fame class could not possibly be any more well-deserved. Action, controversy, challenges? MCW will have all of that at a tribute to the legends. Fans, it's going to truly be a night to remember. We look forward to seeing all of you on October 29th in the new green room in Dundalk, Maryland. Please visit our site, MarylandWrestling.com, for more details. MCW, we are Maryland Wrestling. It's your boy the gift and the curse, and we are the, the new bloods. bloods. And you're watching Rage TV. TV. Ladies and gentlemen, pandemonium is running strong here in MCW. Commissioner Cicero will have his hands full with these newcomers in MCW. But folks, I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't give air time to everybody in the locker room. So once again, for another up close and personal moment, Mr. J.P. Callahan. Now, J JP, I don't have to set anything up for you because I know you're going to say whatever you got to say, so just do us all a favor and tell us why you're here. Once again, I have outdone myself. Really? You know, you people are really starting to make me mad. Oh, oh come on. <laughs> what? Did I tell a joke, Mark Bray? Was something funny? You know what? I'm not even going to touch that. I'm telling you people right now, shut up. You do not want me to get mad. JP. Why? If I get mad, I am going to end careers. Hell, I might even take over this whole company. JP. 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 Why are you out here with Horace? To bring out my next accusation, which is Mustafa Aziz Daniels. Ladies and gentlemen, what a strange change, chain of events here. Mustafa Aziz Daniels now aligning himself with J.P. Callahan. Let's just take it to the match. Mark, I can't believe you're down there, man. That close to that idiot, man, right there. Look at him. Wow, what a menacing man. And that little, what's that guy? Bubo, Babu, what do you call him? Uh, I believe his name is Babu. Babu? I, I gotta tell you, this J.P. Callahan, it's like you gotta hold his hand. Why do you give him time, man? I thought he was my friend. You know, I thought we was tight and stuff like that. And you keep giving this idiot time. Look, I know you hate the man, but I got to do my job. I got to give everyone a fair and balanced say on this program. And there you have it, folks. Mustafa Aziz Daniels, the newest member yeah. of the J.P. Callahan International Stable. Remember I said this kid, uh, Sarah Telly's a good-looking kid? Well, let's he won't see be how saying he that after, after this, matchup. man. This guy's going to kill him, man. Nick Saracelli, the Italian job, oh, taking on Mustafa oh. Aziz Daniels. Oh, oh man. And I Nick, think Mustafa out. Aziz Daniels weighs about two of Saracelli. Oh, look at his side slam there. Spins him around three times. Bam! That's a lot of force on that, man. It's a lot of force. Look out, Saracelli. Look out, man. Mustafa Aziz Daniels getting coached by his new, uh, his new boss, J.P. Callahan. And don't let Mustafa Aziz get it. Yeah, come on, Sarah Jaya. Right and the left. Ducks it. Big left. Oh, ducks it again. Big right. Oh, he's got him staggered. He hits the ropes. Comes off. Boom. Big tackle. <laughs> and Sarah Jelly takes the big man down. Mustafa Aziz Daniels taking off his feet. Oh, drop kicks him good, man. Right in the face. Going on, he's Boris. fired up now, baby. Boris Dragoff up on the top. Up on the apron. Oh, distracting come on. The What's the deal with that? What's the matter? You're afraid the big fat man might lose a match? Watch yourself, Sarah Chelly. That's it. Hit that rope. Get him, baby. 
Uh oh. And oh, Mustafa no. Aziz Daniels catches him. He oh. plants him down. Oh wow, the back of his head hit hard on that apron. Look out, look out, look out there, Joey. And we've seen this oh, before. No. This has got to be. Oh, no. This will not end well, ladies and gentlemen. If you have small children, make them turn away because this out. is not going to be pretty. Look out. Oh. Good night. That's got to be it. The oh, one, two, my three. God, man. I'll tell you what. This is crazy. Stop you got to you gotta ban that move. You got to ban that move. You can't be doing that move. That's something we can take up with Commissioner Cicero at a later date. Mustafa Aziz Daniels is now victorious here under the tutelage of J.P. Callahan, which means J.P. Callahan's new international stable, or whatever you're going to call it, are now 2-0 here in MCW. Good God, man. This is Brenner's little, little whatever he is. What's his name was again? Stop. Oh, Babu. Babu? Man, I'd love to smack that punk right in his face, man. I'd come out of retirement for that. And here we go again. All right, bam, look at that. Oh, crushed him down. Again, go Sarah Jelly. Slam, another splash. Side dog slam here, man. Spins him around twice. Boom! God, what pressure is under that. But then Sarah Jelly comes back with a right and a left. And now he comes off the ropes. Bam, double tackle right there. Big drop kick. And then, uh-oh, this is the beginning of the end right there. You see his head bounce off the canvas there, and then we all seen this before. It's the stand on the chest, good night, you're dead move. Oh my God. That is a menacing figure right there. Saturday night, October 29th, in the Green Room in Dundalk, Maryland at 6.45 p.m. MCW is proud to present Tribute to the Legends, a Hall of Fame night. MCW will be inducting six legends into the 2011 Class Hall of Fame. Two decades of tag team excellence is recognized as the Holy Rollers enter the Hall of Fame. Maryland icon and longtime fan favorite Hard Rock Ricky Blues has earned his place into the 2011 Hall of Fame class. Always controversial, yet always extremely successful. Tom Brandy has made his mark on the Maryland wrestling scene over the past 25 years. Tom will rightfully be recognized in the 2011 Hall of Fame class. Bill Apter is easily one of the most influential figures in pro wrestling history. As former senior editor of Pro Wrestling Illustrated, Inside Wrestling, and The Wrestler, Bill's media coverage made hundreds of wrestlers into household names. We are very pleased to have Bill enter our 2011 Hall of Fame class. Dan McDevitt embodies the heartbeat of Maryland wrestling. Dan has wrestled, managed, booked, and for the past 20 years has run by far the most successful and reputable regional pro wrestling organization in the country. Many of today's top stars learn their craft under the watchful tutelage of Dan McDevitt in MCW. Dan's induction into the 2011 Hall of Fame class could not possibly be any more well-deserved. Action, controversy, challenges? MCW will have all of that at a tribute to the legends. Fans, it's going to truly be a night to remember. We look forward to seeing all of you on October 29th in the new Green Room in Dundalk, Maryland. Please visit our site, MarylandWrestling.com, for more details. MCW, we are Maryland Wrestling. This is Ronnie Zuko, the Rage TV champion, with Jessica, and you're watching Rage TV. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for our Rage TV main event of the evening. It is a six-man tag team match scheduled for one fall with TV time remaining. Introducing first, hailing from the darkest corner of the midway, at a total combined weight of 615 pounds, Oliver Grimsley, Kindred, and Hocus, the Dark Carnival! And here come the Dark Carnival making their MCW main event on Rage TV debut. There's old Hocus, man. I tell you what, you gotta watch that guy. And Oliver Grimsley back again. Oliver Grimsley, since entering MCW a few months ago, has taken his brood from a 
Sideshow Freaks to main events on Rage TV as they are a part of this big tag team matchup here tonight. And there's the big man right there, Kenry. I'll tell you what, you gotta watch this guy. He's a mysterious, mysterious person. The Freaks are here! You're absolutely right, Dwayne. Oliver Grinsley, Hocus and Kindred, all of the Dark Carnival. Gonna take on Black Wall Street with Chuck Lennox. What was that? Messing with the ring announcer. Taking his glasses, what is he? Poor guy he, can't see, give him his glasses back. I don't know how he feels. You gotta watch his <laughs> Grimsley, man. He's a character, I'll tell you what, he ain't got it all there. Black Wall Street and Chuck Lennox. And there is Drolix, along with Marcus Streets. And yeah. Chuck Lennox. That was one of Drogs' best acquisitions right there. And this guy, Chuck Lennox, my God, have you seen him fly? Chuck Lennox, definitely a good acquisition by Black Wall Street. Of course, he made his debut with Black Wall Street. Back at Rally in the Alley with 1,500 MCW fans jammed the Avenue of White Marsh, supporting MCW and the Baltimore Ravens. Oh, yeah, you knew that. Only fitting, because we are from the great city of Baltimore, Maryland. Yes, sir. Despite yes, sir. Yes, JP sir. Kelly we love our thing. Ravens. We love our Ravens. And the referee has called for the bell. And look at Draw. He's got to go and pick on the poor kids, man. They're trying to have a good time. There you go, Raven fan right there. See that shirt? And we all know that Drolix is a Steelers fan. Absolutely. Why do you think he chose those colors? Not very popular here in the greater Baltimore area. Oh, uh, not at all. And let me tell you, I'm booting for Dark Carnival more than ever. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this matchup should be an exciting one to say the least. You will get your money's worth here for this main event as Drolix. <laughs> Something about blueberry pancakes. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you what, right there, Hocus. That's a talent that nobody's really had a chance to see work yet. Well, Hocus, again, you're absolutely right. Hocus, we have not really seen in any real action as of yet, but he's gonna get the start in this matchup here against Chuck Lennox, the newest acquisition of Black Wall Street. Chuck Lennox, of course, by himself in singles competition. Very, very familiar are we, as he's been many, many recent weeks on Rage TV making a name for himself. I'll tell you what, this is a good acquisition here, too. I think Streets had a lot to do with that, because you can tell quite by the body that they've been working out together for so, quite some time. Absolutely, here comes the quick tag. Hocus now oh. sending in Kindred. Kindred now the legal man here. Oh, he caught the and big man off guard. Look at that. Streets is now the legal man. Both of these teams very quick, so you're probably going to see quite a few tags like that, Ooh. in and out. Kendrick catches streets mid-air. Big see back what he break. Does with oh, him. puts him up. Oh! oh. <laughs> hey, what did I tell you about streets, huh? Did he reverse that move or what? Absolutely, he did, and he did it with such finesse. Here comes the pin, hold on. He did it with such finesse, you couldn't tell who did it to who until Marcus Streets got up. And now Drolix, the ringleader, the legal man, taking on his former partner, Kindred, as you may remember. Oh, there's no love there, I'll tell you that, man. Lots of bad blood against these, these two gentlemen. Oh. A flying clothesline by Kindred. It looks like it was a move of desperation. It should be in his best interest to make, make a tag. And now Oliver Grimsley is the legal man against Drolix. Ringleader Boom. against ringleader. Boom. Boom. Go, Grimsley, go. Come on, man. Put it to him. Nice, nice. Springboard off the second rope. High cross body. Grimsley's got the crowd behind him now, man. Oliver Grimsley having fun in this one. Of course, the same cannot be said for Drolix. Drolix with the reversal. Oh, oh to Oliver Grimsley beats him to it. Oh! And that time, Drolix uses his power advantage over Grimsley. He's going to go for a pin here. Drolix arguing with the referee here. Hold on, and he hits oh, the ref. What's he doing? Throws the ref out of the ring. You can't do that in MCW. And now Grimsley grabs him. Oh, there's that patented backbreaker, baby, right well, there. Folks, the referee has been taken out of this matchup. Drolix, and now it looks like, you know, we're gonna have pandemonium here. Oh, here we go. Now we got a six man. All six <laughs> men in the ring right now, taking out each other. 
Go, go boys, go! The Dark Carnival, I think this is the beginning of something here, Dwayne. Oh! And hold on, another referee has come in to try and take there control we go, over there this. There we go. Now we got, now we can take control. The referee trying to take control. But you have to think that this match is over. And hold on a second. Oh, oh Kendrick Carter throws him throws out. the other official outside of the ring. Folks, I think it's safe to say that this match is over. And this is just a brawl now. As all members of Black Wall Street are outside of the ring. The Dark Carnival now. I'll tell you what, the fans love it. Look, there you go. You got streets down there on the ground. And a stare down between the Dark Carnival and Black Wall Street. I don't think we've seen the last of this, Dwayne. Not oh, by a no long way. shot. No way, no way. There's going to be payback here. I know draws. Well, there you go. We just got the official call. The officials in the back have said that this is a double disqualification. Of course, you had to see that coming. Oh, yeah. Of Both parties guilty of throwing MCW officials over the top rope, and you better believe that's not going to sit well in the opposite position. You can't do that. We don't play that in MCW. We don't play that. Well, the officials probably don't like it, but the fans sure do. This is MCW Rage TV. We will see you next time. See ya! Ow! <laughs> MCW, we are Maryland Wrestling.